Okay, uh, I will use uh, uh, the uh, average value of sine squared and cosine squared in chapter 9. Um, um, so I will go back to chapter 3 and derive these formulas because I think they're essential to the understanding some of the aspects in chapter 9. But then when I looked back at 310, I figured it'd probably be a better idea to work out 311, which is a more general case of 310, uh, because 310, uh, because once we do 311 and 312 will go along the same exact lines as 11. So if, 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 if we could do, if I get enough time, I'll also do 12. But if, if, if you do 11, 12 will be identical. Um, and then once these two are done and probably if, if I get some additional time, I'll, I'll prove this one. Uh, then these two become just a specific case or a special case of uh, 311 and 312. Uh, so I just figured it might be better to just do the more general one. So how about I'll just uh, start with 311 and, and, and prove 311. I'm going to show that a more general formulation of the previous problem, which is this, um, on any interval t of average of cosine squared is one half uh, this this identity here. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I am doing three eleven. Okay, so we know from basic calculus that the average of any function t over a period t is just 1 over t integral from t to t plus t uh, f with a dummy variable t prime just to distinguish it from t because it's in the bounds, bounds of integration dt prime. Okay, so now for 311, uh, my f of t is uh, cosine squared. Uh, and so if we do that, so uh, cosine, uh, let's just start here. So cosine squared uh, wt and t is equal 1 over t integral. So I will replace ft prime with cosine squared wt prime and uh, as you guys know from calculus to integrate cosine squared I have to reduce it to a uh, power of 1 so I use the double angle formula so this becomes 1 over t 1 half 1 plus cosine twice the angle so that's 2 w t prime dt prime okay so let's integrate one by one so this becomes let me start the problem will slight, gradually get longer so I'll, I'll just go back to the beginning of the line here but I'm still evaluating this guy of course let me probably just write Cosine squared W T. Okay, uh, one will be T, and the other one will be sine two W T prime, and then by the chain rule divide that by the derivative of cosine two W T prime. So uh, two W, uh, and we will evaluate this from T to T plus T. Uh, let me do those terms separately. So on the first term, I will get uh, T uh, I will get T plus T if I if I replace T prime with T plus T uh, Minus now if I replace T prime with T I will get T and the T's cancel and now I'll go to the second one so uh, sign Sure what the, why these lines are forming here 2w uh, t prime is t plus t uh, let's leave 1 over 2w here uh, minus 
now t becomes sine 2 w t okay so uh, in this case here we will get 1 over 2 t you guys probably bored from r blue let me change the color so now we're at 1 over 2 t t plus 1 over 2 w now let me foil that 2 w in inside the sign so this becomes 2 w t plus 2 w t uh, minus sine 2 w t okay let's see what we can do here um, let me see now this 2 w t why don't I rewrite it as WT plus WT? Uh, let me see if this will help us. Uh, now this first one is Mm. Actually, one second. Leave this to WT for a moment. Uh, and what I'm going to do. So. Um, I'm trying to use a trig identity here to. Uh, uh, to um, simplify those signs so what I'm gonna do I know that this is 2 WT so I'm gonna say this is 2 WT and then this 2 WT I'm gonna write as uh, WT plus WT inside this sign and then on the other sign I'm gonna do uh, minus sign now this 2 WT I'm gonna add WT and subtract WT and I'll show you why I'm doing this so uh, so uh, 2 WT and then I'm gonna add WT and subtract WT and the reason I did this is because I could group these as two angles so uh, let's say let me use uh, this color here uh, if I call this X and this Y uh, this here will be X and this here will be Y the only difference is uh, one is X plus Y the other one is X minus Y and I do have a trig identity that says uh, sine X plus Y minus sine x minus y is equal to uh, 2 cosine x sine y 2 cosine x sine y and you know you could easily prove this you can expand sine x plus y and this becomes uh, uh, sine uh, x cosine y plus cosine x sine y and this one here becomes sine x uh, cosine y minus cosine x sine y but there's another minus so the two cosine uh, the cosine x sine y will add up to two so you get two of them and then the uh, sine x cosine y one is plus one is minus so they cancel out so this can be easily be proven so I will apply this up here and if I do that, uh, continuing on, now I'm cosine squared wt over t is equal to 1 over 2t, t plus 1 over 2w. And so if we apply this, we're going to get, uh, so remember there was a bracket here, correct? Yeah, there was, there was a bracket here around this. Yeah, the green bracket, let's put it in green. Uh, actually there's two brackets there's one green and then there's the red one 
Just so you guys don't get confused on the brackets. Okay, so now this 2w could multiply in, but let me leave it out for now. So this is going to become 2 uh, cosine uh, x is 2wt plus wt sine the y, which is wt. Close this. So this multiplies in, yeah, so this two cancels that two. Uh, and we're gonna get, if I foil this one over, or if I foil this T in, I'm gonna get one plus uh, one over WT or sine WT. I'm just switching those. You could switch them, it's multiplication, it's fine over wt because I multiplied this t inside uh, and then I have cosine uh, 2wt plus wt okay now uh, let's leave it for now wt I'll, I'll do I'll do the switch the next step so uh, so this is that now we know uh, that uh, the period T is equal to 2 pi over omega right yeah and so if I plug this up there uh, then I will get cosine squared WT is equal to 1 half 1 plus sine WT I'll leave this as is because uh, they call this uh, they call this here uh, sync x or sync wt in this case okay and then the second term is cosine 2wt plus uh, W is uh, well if W is if T is 2 pi over W W is 2 pi over T so W two uh, either way whatever uh, so okay so then we have uh, so this becomes 2 W T plus 2 pi now Cosine 2wt plus uh, 2pi, uh, you're just adding uh, 360 degrees, you go back to the same place. Um, and so it's the same thing as cosine uh, 2wt. And so this whole thing becomes, finally, cosine squared wt, the average of that over any period t, is equal to 1 half uh, 1 plus sink wt cosine 2 wt and this is exactly what we are set out to prove here for number 311 Now you can see that if for number 10, if uh, the uh, tau uh, is 2 pi over omega is the period of the harmonic function, right? Uh, 2 pi over omega so if tau is 2 pi over omega and you plug this in uh, you're gonna get sine uh, w 2 pi over w over uh, wt over 2 pi look these go away sine 2 pi is 0 and so, uh, so this whole, so this becomes one plus. Doesn't matter what's here. This whole thing goes to zero. 
uh, oops, sorry. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, if tau is equal to two pi over w, then, then, uh, we get for cosine squared. There's a half here, so this guy goes to zero, and we get half. And this was problem uh, three uh, ten. Uh, the the cosine squared so you can see how problem 310 becomes a special case of 311 wall oh. okay now uh, with the same exact logic uh, we could run and prove um, 312 uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it in this video um, I'll just leave it there for now and maybe uh, if I get a chance I will do 312 and then uh, uh, sine squared becomes uh, for, from 310 becomes a special case of 312 and then maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do a separate video to prove this we'll see <laughs>